Now we've talked about the nutrient density of spices and many spices come from fresh herbs. You've likely noticed we use a lot of fresh herbs in our recipes and as much as I've gotten better at keeping my potted herbs alive, sometimes they just die. So certain dried out ones like rosemary and thyme you can just pick off the branches and use as a spice. But you can also salvage some of the living leaves by picking them off the plant, chopping them up and then placing them in an ice cube tray with some water. Alternatively, you can also add them to a food processor with equal parts oil and water, blend it, and then add that to the ice cube tray. Once it's frozen, I then transfer the cubes into a Tupperware container. Now the herbs, they're not going to freeze in a way that's going to retain its former glory, but it's going to retain its flavor and nutrient profile if you enjoy it within a one to two month period. You can then add these cubes to soups or stews or pasta sauces. It's a great way to reduce food waste and add some flavor to dishes, plus some extra vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Something I've noticed I've been doing lately, which I never used to do before, is adding spinach to my cooked meals, and I do it in super huge quantities. Because within just a few minutes, the big pile of greens cooks down to a super small amount, and it hides perfectly well in dishes like curries, stir fries, soups, and more. As with other veggies, there are pros and cons to both the raw and cooked form. With spinach, for example, the raw form offers higher amounts of certain nutrients, whereas the cooked form offers higher amounts of other nutrients. So long of the short, enjoy both the cooked and raw versions, but don't shy away from cooked. It's just such an easy way to get a whole bunch of greens onto your plate and into your body with loads of nutrients to accompany it.